this is going to pretty much be take one. Good morning, everybody. We have arrived to Harrisburg, Virginia. Finally got my GPS back. I am so happy about that. Hey guys, this right here is your money. Please learn how to fill this out because if you don't, you will lose money. You need to fill in the quantity, manifest. You know, there there is codes for each stop. So if you stopping at a vend, you need to put debt stack. Debt stack is you debt like you stacking it, personally stacking it. So you got different stuff. You got dead stack, palletized, carded cases, carts, roller assist, totes, roller bed. But most of the time, majority of the time, you're gonna use dead stack for most of these. Except for when you at a bin. If you at a bin, it's gonna be bin. And a lot of times if you departing with something, you need to put that in here. Like if you departing with KDs, empty, carts, totes, finished goods. Finished goods is product. Like let's just say you had return product then you gotta uh, put on here that you depart with it and the quantity so this is pretty much your timer like they won't let me in the gate right now so I have to sit here and wait I don't know why I have to sit here and wait but I might as well do I just did a six hour drive so I'm about to do my 30 minute break but I'm gonna do my 30 minute break on a free this the free to lay app so you have to do your 30 minute break you have to do your 30 minute break on this side and the DOT side. Like this is the DOT side. You got all this right here. This is the DOT side. I already put myself on off duty as you see. So you got to put yourself on off duty on the DOT side and the Frito side. So you go in Frito into activity and then delay. So you have to show you have to show a break on both sides. So when you come to this place, like my appointment is not until six. So he let two truck drivers go in. Like I had went into the right lane. Cause usually when you come to these places, if you not like a company driver for that company, you have to go in the right lane. So I went in the right lane to ring um, the bell and he said, well, ma'am, I'm not gonna let you in. No, no, he said, um, night shift is changing over the shift. So um, give us, you know, a little bit of minute. So I said, okay, so I'll go and get back. And then that gate go up, that gate goes up and it's, it stayed up long enough for the two trucks that was behind me to go in. So I said, dang, I could have did that. So I pretty much rung the bell for the two trucks to go in. So by the time I get in my truck and try to come over in the left lane as y'all see me in, the damn gate come down. So I ring the bell again, hey man, you know, you just let two trucks in. Uh, you know, can I, can I, you open the gate so I can get in? No man, we're not gonna let you in. You just let two trucks in. You telling me you're not gonna let me in, you just let two trucks in that I rung the bell first for and I'm the one that got touch freight. I think these drivers were bumped. But yeah man, everybody trying to make money. Everybody gotta make money, so I bet you this man don't know he on YouTube. You know you on YouTube, Mr. Yellow Vest wearing vest guy. I see your boots. What kind of boots you got on, honey? Ooh, who you trying to? Who you trying to sneak up? You trying to sneak up on somebody? You don't be sneaking up on nobody. I see. I see. Mm. This is Cisco in Harrisburg, Virginia. These mother suckers. I'm about to call this back. I'm about to tell. You know how like you was a kid. And your brother somebody did something to you and you be like i'm telling mommy i'm telling you know what i'm telling dispatch i'm telling i'm about to call dispatch and i'm telling these mother suckers they better let me in and stop playing these freaking games Ain't nobody got time for this three points of contact you better three contact point that and everything I'm about to get up since i'm on my break let me show off a little bit let me show off a little bit oh when you come to harrisburg virginia cisco
finally let me in. Crazy man. He's about to make me late for my freaking appointment. I told you, I told Miss Arnett, and Miss Arnett said, she said, if he don't let you in at your appointment time at 6 o'clock, you call me back. That's what I'm talking about, Miss Arnett. She a sweet gangster. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Miss Arnett. I love you so much. Come on, let's go in the building, y'all. I got my forklift license, I gotta find it too. They gonna let me operate a forklift. So that way I ain't gotta see him use that stupid hand truck and everything. So I gotta give him my papers and everything. Come on. Capstone is a lump of service. I do not miss paying for lumpers. I don't miss those days. This is flabbergastic, man. Time is money. Get in here, mister, and get my damn bills. Give me goddamn dogs. Playing with y'all. Get on my goddamn nerves. It make me sick. Hey, y'all, a lot of times when you come into these receivers, you got to sign in. So, I signed in, and so did everybody else. What's up, Phil? What's up, Jatel? Barkley, Buckley, Lisa Crosby. What's up, hey? Oh, that's the company. That's James. You gotta wash your hands, honey. This is how you wash your hands. Hand instructions. Run the boy. Yes. So funny. Rub them name palms together. Yeah, you better do that, girl. Yeah, you see all this? You gotta, you gotta get all oh, in between the crevices of the funky hands. Run the time, so just walking out here. They just shake it. Touch this nasty boy here. I don't even wanna touch it. Let me get a paper towel. I do not bear, but you know, goddamn, throw a hand on somebody. Most likely, you know, I think. Look at these prices, y'all. Look at these prices. Tom and Curry are pricing. These are the prices for bumpers. Capstone. They always ask for tax ID number when you write them comm checks. Freedom don't have that problem though, because we do the unloading. All right, I did. I didn't know, but when you come to this Herzberg, Cisco, you pretty much have back into the third door from the ramp so one two three four and they open at six o'clock then when they open at six o'clock you walk up the ramp so we're about to find out how this shit gonna work we're gonna find so i'm confused y'all jockey just told me that i gotta wait I can't back into a door. I don't know what till six o'clock, but it's six o'clock. There's nobody at the desk. And usually when drivers come here, they back into the third door from the ramp. But now they saying I can't. Somebody better make their dog on mind up because I ain't got time for these games. I ain't got time. Man, this is just this is just so unorganized. I don't get a door, I get a door. Now I gotta get door 34. Which one is it? 34, 35, 30, 30, whatever it is. I'm glad I just got a door. So, eh, eh. Man, you know what? I'm so glad that this truck has the uh, truck lift because since these trucks got the truck lift, you don't have to chalk the wheels because the lift itself is chalk. So that's what I'm about to do now is lift, lift the uh, lift up. So, let me do this. So, this is the number you gotta call to get in the door. You gotta do a lot of shit just to get in here. Raggedy Ann Muffin. God dang, bull crap. First thing won't let me in, now I get in there. The guy that's supposed to receive me, talking about I gotta sit here and wait. I don't have much time on my freaking clock to be sitting here. All right guys, so, they messing me up, man. I had planned to unload this bin. Obviously, bin, you have to load it by hand. So when you load in pallets by hand, it takes more time to unload versus using your hand truck. So I know for sure I average about four hours to do a bin, maybe a little bit over four hours. It just depends on how crazy the day is. So I was averaging that I was gonna have four hours to unload, but only got, what, five hours, five, a little bit over five hours on my clock. 
So this load has two, it has three stops on it. So what I had planned to do was come to this van, unload the 1600 and some change pieces within the four hours and use the remainder hour and change to get to Lynchburg. Now, the guys are not ready to receive me. I guess that's just part of when you go to a receiver, it's just trucking, right? So he ain't ready to receive me, which is delaying my time. So now I'm on, uh, you know, delay. But now, instead of me, because I just planned, once I finish unload this van by hand, I was gonna plan to drive the rest of my time to the Kirkley that's 70 miles away. So by the time I got up at the Kirkley, I can go straight to the Lynchburg plant, pick my load up and then drop that off in High Point and then take my butt back to the terminal. But that's not gonna happen like that. So if you in Harrisburg and you have to lay over here, they have a, they have a couple hotels. But the hotel I chose today was the Ramada Inn. So y'all gonna see the Ramada Inn later on and y'all already know how we do. Y'all already know sister work go to the hotel, we wake up together, and then we be on our way back to the terminal together. So y'all follow me along on my journey. I'm just enjoying having y'all for company. Y'all are the best company a sister could ever have. You hear me? Mm-hmm. So let me about go back in there and see if he's ready, cause man, he messing me up. He is totally messing me up. This don't make no sense. You need all the time you need on the van, cause I, like I said, you are hand stacking everything. So it takes a lot longer. I be smiling to get off. Let me show my mess up people. Get that one big spot. Y'all gonna see my real big one day. I'm like, dang! We ain't no shorty look like that with straight nut Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We didn't know shorty look like that with straight non cracked teeth. Hey, this teeth was made. So, this teeth, I had this uh, teeth, I guess, made with clay when I was 16. So, I was surprised that clay lasted this long. And I'm in my 30s. So, it is what it is. Y'all gonna stop clowning me. Alright, y'all, y'all know I'm gonna check back. I got left. Usually when you are uh, stacking these by hand, you got your pallet high list. And usually the tie is across and the high is how high each box need to go. When you come in here, you give them, you know, your bills and then they'll turn around and give you that pallet stack sheet. So you know how high and how many across, but it's always six across. For the most part, it's always six going across. It's the height that you're concerned as far as stacking and everything. So let me hurry up. Let me hurry up and clear this damn dance floor so I can try to make it to Lynchburg. This is kind of the part that I don't like because obviously when you finish with everything, look, I'm finished. It's like a person that receives you, they're responsible for giving you pallets, for giving you strength wrap and giving you the tie high sheet. But when you finish your last um, pallet, sometimes they take their time checking everything in to give you the signed bill back. And you can be having time, just enough time to get somewhere, but because they take their time checking stuff in, that can really mess you up. All right, y'all, I made it. Eh, man, you have got to be Oh crap, oh shoot, oh oh shit. Oh man, I'm just dropping stuff. Let me pay attention, shoot. But this is near Lynchburg, the Lynchburg plant. You know, if you got a Lynchburg load to pick up or whatever, usually y'all already know I be staying at the Kirkley Hotel. But when it's like football stuff going on, holidays, sometimes you won't be able to get a room to where it'll be booked. So, this hotel is La Quinta Inn, another La Quinta Inn, and it's actually the same distance from the Lynchburg plant. Like La Quinta Inn is six miles from the Lynchburg plant and it's not too far even from Kirkley. But look at this pretty view right here, look at this. There's my damn suitcase stop trying to roll. That right there. I guess that must be the symbol for Lynchburg. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I don't know if this bowling alley is uh like in business but this they got an amf bowling alley lynchburg bowling alley so they it can fit truck and trailer but you have to park in the back like when you turn in here you're going to drive down you know turn left and park in the back of of la quinta inn and you can't get in unless you got a so i'm pretty much heading to walk around to the front but it's all good i'm just glad i had they got parking for truck 
and trailer. And obviously when you shut down, like I said, so you ain't gotta do an unnecessary 10 hour break. Remember the time that you shut down and make sure you got the correct time that you need to start up. But obviously, if you working here at Frito-Lay, you came in here with two years or more driving experience. So I shouldn't have to tell y'all that. I shouldn't even be having to make the mistakes my dang self. I need to, uh, well, they gave me a refresher course yesterday. Shouts out to you, Erin Bolton and, uh, and Lauren and everything. Let me, uh, let me try to get a better view of this sign. Look at this. Look at this right here. Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? They got Courtyard Marriott, but I don't know if Courtyard Marriott take corporate lodging. Let's see, we got some people touring here. Let's see if they got, let's look at the pool. I wanna get in, but I ain't gonna feel like it. I know I'm not gonna feel like it. I ain't gonna feel like it. I know me, and I'm not gonna, when I get in that room, y'all already know the deal. Sister gonna get in the shower. I might even make that video about divorce rape. I think I'm gonna do it. I thought really long and hard. I thought really long and hard. And some videos that I feel uncomfortable to make or I like kind of doubt making, but I decided to make it anyway. They always the videos that do the best because obviously it's a sensitive topic that most people ain't gonna talk about, but then some people be looking for you to talk about it. Cause obviously a lot of people go through some of the stuff that I bring up that can be considered taboo. No trucks allowed. Shit, ain't what they told me on the phone. I man sure got a truck in the back, baby. Hotel to have it to where this shit smell like cigarettes. Like man, oh man, they should ban cigarettes. And you know what? I'ma stop. I'm not judging nobody. I'm not. I swear I'm not. But only reason I'm so 
you know, on it is because cigarette is proven to kill people. So why would you, why would a person voluntarily put something smoking wise in their body that they know can and will most likely lead to a very painful, miserable death. Now Grant, nobody can really say nothing about nobody because everybody got bad habits they do. Whether it's down to the crazy food you eat, down to the way you talk, because obviously I have foul mouth. So I'm just saying though, what you can help, help, what you can't, you can't. But obviously smoking cigarettes is definitely probably way addictive than cussing, I'm sure. But man, I just wish they'd do away with it, man, because cigarettes have claimed thousands, millions of lives for no reason. So it ain't for me to say nothing, but like I said, I don't like, I personally don't like the smell. And it smells like cigarette and it's pretty room. This is really crazy. This is too gorgeous of a room for it to have this disgusting smell. But let me show y'all. So obviously we got your suitcase holder, which I'm about to put that thing right on here too. Mm. Mm. Y'all know what I'm about to do. Wait a minute, how you turn this light up? There we go. Got some nice towels. Throw the tissue. Hey. Mm. Mm, yeah, baby. Got some closet. I ain't gonna be here long enough to be worrying about this. But uh, yeah, baby, got you. Is it the Samsung? Is it? Nope, it's LG. LG ain't bad. All right. You know, got the same type of clock. So I'm guessing all the Quintus rooms are set up the same. So, yes, y'all get lost as if y'all was really in these mountains. Get lost in these mountains like you really were in the mountains. Hey, internet. Hey, gratis ultra rapido. I like rat teeth once we hear them. I'm trying to learn this stuff, y'all. I'm trying to y'all. I'm out of here until tomorrow morning. We're going to wake up. And I'm going to be like, good morning, get to, you know, when you got to be doing. I know y'all be tired of me always trying to, I don't know, but whatever. All right, y'all. Good night until the morning time. I wanted to show y'all the nice view. What if this was the Matrix, y'all? And you know how uh, Keanu Reeves again, he played in all the movies, and you had to do the jump test. And you had to jump from the hotel to the roof, to the roof, to that dealership roof. No, is that a dealership? I ain't got my glasses on. Whatever that building is, would you be scared? Would you be scared? So, yeah. How about I order from Drug Hub? Well, I don't know why, why issues always come my way. I look at math and I was trying to lay down. But how about I order from Grubhub and instead of the delivery driver delivering my food to my hotel at 522, this dumb jackass leave my food on the damn table in the lobby. He didn't even give it to the front desk person or nothing. The damn delivery driver actually came in, put my bag on a random table and then left. So when I called the dang store to find out where my food at, nobody knows. And then they finally got a hold of the driver and they finally said that he, he said that he left my food with the front desk people at the hotel. And when I called the hotel people, they told me, oh man, I see your food sitting on the table over there. I said, that don't make no sense. Not a tip the guy and everything. Can't even get good customer service. I tell you, boy, you cannot get good customer service. At least the, uh, the hotel got free popcorn. I got, uh, let me uh, push the thing for that. I had got a chicken wrap with a uh, watermelon smoothie, and it's real watermelon too. I tell you, boy, that shit pissed me off. That don't make no sense, man. It really don't. Man, it's this crazy motherfucker that's gonna write to me. This dude, man, he looks crazy as hell. Let me brush my teeth and hurry get the hell out of here. This hotel story has been really weird. Man, that crazy dude just came out of his room. If that crazy motherfucker say some raunchy stuff to me, I ain't for it today. I am not for it today, so I'm gonna get my butt away from this damn hotel. It's just weird here. Alright. This is the 
Oh, that's horrible. They must have had one, two, many drinks. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, the whole time, the whole time, that person. And then let me see something. Look at this nasty shit here. I don't know if that's piss or we probably a drink. Turn it key again. Man. Winter time is surely coming early. Shoot, time to put the shorts away. And get some dang Dickie's pants. It's, uh, it's too cold. It's starting to get chilly. Hello. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Have a good day. Alright, y'all walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Talk to me. Let me try another how to get out of this place. But man, that guy boy, he was like, "Fuck! Damn it, man!" What did he say? It's made me fucking damn it, man. <laughs> and then it was a guy in there. Hey, man, I ain't put your stuff today. <laughs> and then another. Like, I guess, I'm guessing I was on the left side of him. So it must have been somebody else room that was on another side. And um, they was like, hey! <laughs> well, let me get my tail on this. Well, welcome to Lynchburg. If you come work here at Charlotte, you gonna do a lot of, you gonna do a lot of Lynchburg loads. It seems like, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But it seems like their main hubs is Lynchburg, Virginia, Charlotte, and Perry, Georgia. I'm sure they got other locations, but it seems like this is the main one that do the most, I guess, shipping or whatever. So, uh, I already hooked my trailer and truck, as you see back there. But now I just pretty much gotta go get my bills, go fuel, and we gonna go to Sheik's to get something to eat. Cause I'm hungry. Hey man, I, I got that food from the, I finally found the food, even though he didn't give it to me, right? But that was, even if it was food that he delivered, right? For 20 bucks, that little bit of food was not enough. Man, it's like, man, that, sh that thing, it's like, I'd be so hungry. That little bit of food I eat is like hitting a black hole. I still was starving, I'm still hungry. So we about to go to Sheets and get some more food. Cause I can't be riding another 100 almost 200 miles and and not feeding this hunger i tell you boy hard work equals hunger it really does so yeah
up, pull up. Let's go get some to eat. Woo! Man, I gotta get some meat. I can't do this. Hey man, it's natural. I wish diesel fuel was this cheap. This natural gas here in Lynchburg is like $1.99. Let me show y'all. One ninety. I don't know if y'all can see it. No, you can't see it. But it's $1.99. But the best way to fill when you you know you go into a Lynchburg plant, fill before you leave. And once you fill before you leave, you can make it here. So fill at the plant. Like there's a there's a CNG less than a less than a half a mile that you can go to, fill at the plant, make it, you know, do your stops in the middle of the Lynchburg load. Then when you get to Lynchburg, this is less than a half a mile from the Lynchburg plant. So you fill up here and then you go back to the terminal. That's how you do it. So come on y'all, let's go in sheets. All right. So you know, if you come to the Lynchburg plant, you guarantee unless you ain't got your field card, but you should have your field card set up. Now, unless for whatever reason, because sometimes they don't have your number set on them like they did me. But you know you're gonna get have a gas station to get drinks, food, as if you didn't bring none. So you know you'll be able to get what you need. So yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Oh, I ain't buying no chips. I see chips every day. So where I'm not buying no chips. You get the energy drink though. Which one y'all drink? We shouldn't be drinking none of this crap. Yeah. I'm a red more person. I'm gonna get the smallest one. I don't wanna overdo my heart. So. These are the healthier options, which I think I might get. I think I'm gonna get this right here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna get. All right, so I made my order. You gotta make your orders here at Sheep. So I got me a, a turkey sub, a turkey sub with some, um, I shouldn't be eating fries, but I got me a turkey sub with some fries. And then I got, I got a, I got my Red Bull. Oh, I need to put some lotion on my face after I brush my teeth. Every time I brush my teeth, my face is super dry. But yeah. But yeah, this, this will get me down the road and home. Look at this though. All that bad food, but man, all this work we do, you burn that joint right off. That's the only plus about working here at Frito. I'm not saying that you can eat what you want because you still want to eat healthy. But damn it, you can eat what you want because you're going to burn it right off. Trust me. All right, it's time to get on the road. Come on, y'all. We got to get back to Greensboro, the high point. So, you pick a load up from Lynchburg. I mean, it can go wherever it's going, but this one is going to high point. So, I got my food. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to get in this truck and stuff my face. Man, you ain't going to get fat. People eat like this here at Frito Lay all day, every day, and you will never see a fat free to lay driver. I can promise you that. So come on y'all, let's go. Come on y'all. One ninety nine. That's how much this natural gas costs up here in Lynchburg. Dollar ninety nine. That's uh, you can see it on this way, but yeah, make sure ain't nobody in my truck. Hey man, no homeless people in my truck now. Now then 